say like Liang Chan Aoi Sa'at. Is that correct how I said that? Like Aoi, blah, blah, blah. An adverb is describing how you are going to do something or an adjective. Um, so an adjective describes a noun, but an adverb enhances or helps or makes better that adjective, okay? So we're going to look at this. In the parts of speech, adverb plays an important role. So it is just saying it's important. Let's see what it does. You can screenshot if you want or take pictures, whatever. Adverb. Basically, most adverbs tell you how, where, or when something is done. So how is something done? Where is it done? Or when is it done? In other words, they describe the manner, place, or time of an action, okay? So this is describing an action or a noun. So it just helps us to be more descriptive. I, when I speak Khmer, because I'm not confident in grammar, I usually very, I speak very simply and I don't use adverbs. But if I did use adverbs in Khmer, it would greatly enhance and advance my Khmer skills, okay? I think the Khmer people would see that. I do know a lot of Khmer. So for you personally, it is good to start using adverbs in your speech. It will make you a better English speaker. And also, if you learn what an adverb is, you can teach it to your students. So then you will also be a better teacher. Okay, so let's look at common adverbs. So we have adjectives. Can someone read the adjectives on the left side? Excellent job. Very clear pronunciation. All right. Now we have the adverbs, which just enhances these. Okay. So if a girl is kind, then maybe she kindly speaks to you, okay? Or if the boy is walking and he is happy, he is happily walking, okay? Or if you have loud, maybe the students in your classroom are talking a lot, you don't say they are speaking loud, but you say they are speaking loudly. So can someone read this list of adverbs? Hello, hello, anyone there? Yes, I read. <laughs> Thank you. Kindly, happily, wonderfully, loudly, sadly, beautifully, sweetly. Excellent job. What do we notice about these adverbs? They end in L Y. So we have kindly, happy. Billy, wonderfully, loudly, badly, beautifully, 
sweet Lee. So we have Lee, 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 all the way down. Not all adverbs have L-Y and not all words that end in L-Y are adverbs. However, a lot of adjectives that have L-Y at the end are adverbs or you can make it into an adverb by adding L-Y, okay? I know maybe this seems complicated. The best, best way that you can gain confidence in English is by watching English TV and reading English books, okay? Because when you see it a lot, then your brain will train you what is correct. Okay, many adverbs end in L-Y, which we just discussed. Oh, I need to move this here. You make these adverbs by adding L-Y to adjectives. Some words that end in L-Y are not adverbs. Some adjectives end in L-Y too. For example, Sam was feeling very lonely. Lonely is an adjective and not an adverb. She was wearing a lovely dress and it was a very lively party. Lively means active and loud, okay? So don't worry too much about this. This is just saying that although we use L-Y in many adverbs, it does not mean that all L-Y words are adverbs. Here we go. So we have different kinds of adverbs, all right? I would like five people to volunteer to read these. So we have one, two, three, four, Five, I would like for some new people to participate so it's not the same people all the time. So can someone volunteer to read number one? Yep, can I? Thank you, yep, go ahead. Manner, it's described in which manner in action is done. Good. So this is just saying how something is done. Good job. Number two, can someone? Okay, thank you. Number two, uh, place it described where an action is done. Yes, so place where something happened. Thank you. Number three. Me. Okay. Time, it describes when an action is done. Okay, good. Time, when it happens. Number four. Me. Okay. Yep, you Frequency. can speak up. Anyone can speak up because when I have this screen on, I can't actually see your faces, okay? So if you are, thank you for raising your hand, but I cannot see it. So if you want to volunteer, go ahead and just start talking. Let's do number four. <laughs> Hello. Number four, frequency. It shows how many times an action is done. Good. Thank you. And the last one, number five. Number five, purpose, purpose, reason. It describes the purpose or reason for the action. All right, excellent. Good job, everyone. Thank you for participating. So now we are going to go into, uh oh, I need to close. Um, 
we're going to skip that. So we're going to go into adverbs of place. Some adverbs and adver adverb phrases answer the question, where? All right, so let's look at these examples. The boys are playing upstairs. The dog is in the garden. We are going to New York City on our school trip. And it's very sunny, but cold outside. Okay, so these are adverbs of place. These come very naturally to your English speaking. Okay, so I don't want you to worry too much about this. It just helps us to be able to see. Oftentimes, when we are talking about where, it is an adverb. Okay. But you already do this naturally in English. So you already know this. So now we have adverbs of manner. Now this is more important to pay attention to right now. So you can begin to use it when you speak English and so you can teach it to your students. Adverbs of manner. Some adverbs and adverb phrases describe the way people do some do things or how they do something. So here are our examples. The girls answered all the questions correctly. I know this little picture of the boy playing the guitar is right in front of the word, but it says correctly. The next example. He was driving carelessly. Carelessly means he did not care how he was driving. Maybe he was driving fast or dangerous. That is careless. The plane landed safely, safely. Ramu plays guitar skillfully. So if you want to say he has skills in playing the guitar, you would say skillfully. For example, I learned last week that Sarai plays the drums. Okay, so we can say Sarai plays the drums skillfully. That means he is good at it. So here we have adverb of manner four six eight and ten can i have four volunteers to read these examples me thank you they watched carefully great Good, the flower was beautifully made up. Excellent. Another volunteer? Hello? Hello? Okay, maybe call on someone. Rate. Thank you. Mình nhóm ăn thao vậy đó nha. Xưa thạc kia đó đó. Lo cái trong cái này lên. Nhóm à. Number eight. Okay. She... Seem again. Faintly. Number eight, I got. Yes. She, she made family. Good. Eight, again. It is, she seemed faintly. Faintly um, means tired. Don't worry about uh, this 
word because I don't think I have ever used this word in English. Yeah. <laughs> An English word that is not common. I'll do number 10. The team played wonderfully. So good job. Okay, all of you are participating wonderfully. Thank you. Here we go. Adverbs of frequency. Frequency means how often something happens. So you could say it always happens, it never happens, it sometimes happens, okay? So here are our examples. The children always go to school on the bus. Next one. I'll never make that mistake again. How many of you have done something that was a mistake and you said, I will never do that again because maybe you felt bad. I have done that. Um, the next one, I clean my bedroom every day. Does anyone clean their bedroom every day? I do. <laughs> I like to be clean. Next one, dad polishes his shoes twice a week, two times a week. So these are adverbs of frequency. Now we have adverbs of time, okay? These are easier for my speakers because the grammar and how we use past tense, future tense in English, but you don't use that really in Khmer. This is more um relatable to to my language okay this is closer to how you guys speak so we have the train has already left like hi howie it's gone <laughs> okay we moved into our new house last week how do you say it our favorite tv program starts at six o'clock and the last one i'm going to my new school tomorrow okay so adverbs of time so can i have four volunteers the first volunteer go ahead and just choose yourself and then after that we will oh wait five five volunteers after that just call on a person Okay, P. Dow, can I have you read number one and then after you can choose a volunteer? Yes. Number one, uh, we saw now be being to work. Uh, call Timothy. Thank you. Ba, me and I'm in the game. He called here a few minutes ago. Wonderful. Some four. Number three, I have spoken to him yesterday. Uh, Good, every day. That name is Gupta, Mr. Gupta. James. I forgot to turn off the mic. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Sorry. Mr. Gupta formerly lived here. Okay, good. Thank you. Great job, everyone. Here's a happy face for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Adverbs of quantity or degree. Degree just means how much, okay? So he was too careless. The sea is very stormy. I am rather busy. That's saying I am too busy right now. I am fully prepared. These mangoes are almost ripe. 
Now we have adverbs of reason. I know we're going over a lot of content. Sorry, Kara, I cannot see the slide. Oh, what? Can anyone I else see the slide? Oh, yeah. I just, I just yes. see it. Okay. I do, I do see it. Okay, thank you, good. Okay, um, yes, so I know we're going over a lot of information. You do not have to remember all of this. It just helps you, your brain to get familiar with what an adverb is and how to increase your homework, okay? No test today, don't worry. So adverbs of reason, well, that's a little bit too much. Okay. So examples of adverbs, and I have um, Pidao, read number one, and then call on volunteers after. Yes. Number one, she sings sweetly. Uh, called Bong Su Pea. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Adverb of affirmative and negative, is it right? At number two. <laughs> Uh, number two. Number two. Please speak quiet, quite carefully. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> <laughs> My daughter is crying now. Num number three, you got one again. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Number three. Number three, she shouts out loudly. Number four, uh, uh, Bong Sino. She smiled cheerfully. Good. Uh, Sarai, the cool Sarai. The traffic was moving slowly. Good. Uh, Bong Rija. <laughs> yeah, uh, number six. She rise neatly. Neatly. Good job. Yeah, uh, okay. Some point. Number seven. We waited patiently to see the doctor. Good, excellent, thank you. Okay, let me get out of this. So now I'm going to show you some videos, okay? And again, I know it is a little bit overwhelming, okay? But that is okay, no worries. All right, we are just getting familiar with it. Uh-oh, maybe my internet is slow. Adverbs. An adverb describes a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It tells us how, where, when, how much, and with what frequency. An adverb can tell how, oh. where. I don't know why it's blurry. Oh, there when, we go. How much, how often, Quietly, peacefully, carefully. 
slowly, badly, closely, easily, well, fast, quickly, cheerfully, above, abroad, far, away, back, here, outside, backwards, behind, below, down, now, yesterday, soon, later, tomorrow, yet, already, tonight, today, then, last year, quite, fairly, too, enormously, entirely, very, extremely, rather, almost, absolutely, just, always, sometimes, often, frequently, normally, generally, usually, occasionally, seldom, rarely, never. Okay. Um, if you are on a phone, maybe this is too small. But here, let me try to take. I just took a picture and I will send it in the group. Okay. Um, this is like a really good list to just go over a few times. So you can familiarize yourself with words that you can use and what an adverb is, okay? And then we have one more. ESL library. Adverbs of manner. What are adverbs? Adverbs can do many things in a sentence. They can describe verbs, adjectives, other adverbs, or entire sentences. Adverbs of manner tell us how someone or something performs an action. For example, I walk quickly. He speaks intelligently. My dog barks loudly. How are adverbs of manner formed in English? Most adverbs of manner are formed by adding ly to the adjective. For example, the adjective soft becomes the adverb softly. coming through on my computer. Uh-oh. Okay, can you see the video? Can everyone see the video? Yes. Okay. Comes the adverb carefully. The adjective noisy becomes the adverb noisily. When we add ly to an adjective that ends in y, the y changes to i. 
there are a few exceptions to the ly adverb rule. Some adverbs of manner don't end in ly. For example, the adjective good becomes the adverb well. A few adjectives and adverbs even have the same form, including fast, hard, and late. There are four common sentence patterns or adverbs of manner in English. The first pattern is verb plus adverb. For example, in the sentence, the ballerina dances beautifully, the adverb beautifully follows the verb dances. Beautifully describes how the ballerina dances. The second pattern is subject, verb, object, plus adverb. For example, in the sentence, the children finished their homework quietly. The adverb quietly comes after the object, homework. Quietly describes how the children finished their homework. The third pattern is adverb plus verb. For example, in the sentence, he gently pets the kitten, the adverb gently comes before the verb pets. Gently describes how he pets the kitten. The fourth pattern is verb plus adverb plus verb. When a verb has two or more parts, the adverb often follows the first part of the verb. For example, in the sentence, they are patiently waiting for the bus. The adverb patiently comes between are and waiting. Patiently describes how they are waiting for the bus. Let's look at some more examples of adverbs of manner in a sentence. They studied hard for the test. He didn't sing the song well. The teacher calmly spoke to the students. The girl is noisily chewing her food. My friend plays the piano badly. Look at the adjective, say or write the adverb. For example, dangerous, dangerously. Now you try. Thanks for watching. Okay, good. A simple video for you. Okay. I have not used um what do you call it? Like groups before. I don't think I know how to do it. Let's see. Some jam.
Okay, I was gonna have us uh, work together in groups, but I don't know how to put you guys in groups with Zoom. Because I have not used that before. So sorry, I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't think I can do it. Okay, so uh, I don't know how to do that. So what we're going to do is a tiny, small, little after class assignment, okay? I want everyone to write five sentences using an adverb, okay? Five sentences using an adverb. I want everyone to, hold on, I'm trying to look at the picture that I, I want everyone to use an adverb from how, where, when, how much, and how often. I am going to put that in the group, okay? I will put it in the group and I will put the instructions in the group also. After you write your five sentences, I want you to post a picture of them in the group. I know some of you are busy. You are new moms, new dads. If you are too busy today, it's okay. Don't worry. I don't want this to be stressful or difficult. Okay. Um, but if you want to get some practice, have it checked by Kia, Sophie, or I, you can go ahead and do that. I will write the instructions in that group and post this. Okay. Does so it is just five questions on or not five questions. I'm sorry, you're going to write five sentences. Five sentences on these adverbs. Okay. Um so if you have any questions, you can ask me, all right? Or you can wait until other people post so you can see what you need to do, okay? If you need to use internet, online, phone, it's okay, no problem, all right? Any questions? Yes. You can type on the phone too. Yeah, that's a good idea. You can write it on the phone. Whatever is easier for you. Probably just writing it on the phone. I don't know. Whatever you want. Yes. Any other questions? No. Okay. I forgot my video was off, but I was acting like I was talking to you. Okay. Thank you everyone for coming today. I know that this was an optional training for many of you and what that shows me is that you take your career your job seriously um, your English speaking your personal improvement so I'm really thankful for those of you who showed up today it shows me that you're a hard worker um, and really committed to yourself and your job and doing things with excellence and we want to do things with excellence because we know that we serve God and we can best serve God when we become equipped and educated, okay? So thank you for everyone for coming. Would someone like to close in prayer today? Oh, thank you. Yes, you're okay, go ahead. Okay, everyone, please pray with me. Jesus, thank you Lord so much that bless me and Mm, my uh, friend study with Kera, uh, Kera. Jesus, please kingdom on earth and bless us. Have more wisdom from God and understand all the lessons that Kera teach us today. And bless uh, Kera, have more smart for find a uh, good, uh, good uh, lesson for 
teach us anymore. Jesus, praise the Lord, and I pray and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank, you. Oh, thank you, everyone. I will see you, I guess, Friday, staff devos. Okay. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. God bless you, Kara. God bless you. Bye bye. Thank you, Kara. Thank you all. Thank you, Kara. Thank you.